Now I get some Friday hype. Yeah. Man. It's been a week. It's been a week. Welcome to today's episode of Your Daily Scrum. Professional Scrum Trainer Ryan Ripley that over there is Professional Scrum Trainer Todd Miller. We get together each and every day to talk about Scrum so that you can try to get better each and every day. Uh, check us out. On, hey, the podcast is now on iTunes. A lot of info about us in the description. We wrote a book, Fixing Your Scrum. You might like it. It's on Amazon and all fine sellers of books. Um, like and subscribe. We are like 25 subs out from 10,000. That's Let's pretty do amazing. It today. Get it done today. We know half of you have not subscribed. Let's get it done. 10,000 means merch. Merch means squirrels. Oh, it's just going to be great. All right, Todd, today's question. How is the Scrum Master job rewarding? Well, so you know, yesterday we um, we brought up the topic of uh, being the Scrum Master being uncomfortable. I think it hit home for a lot of people. So let's end a week on a positive note, Ryan. Let's talk about it's Friday here. How's the Scrum Master job rewarding? I will tell you that some of the most satisfying periods in my career in my life is when I sat back and I watched people thriving and wasn't getting any credit for it at all, but felt like I had a lot to do with it. And that's what it felt like to be a scrum master. It wasn't like I was getting credit for delivering. It wasn't like I was getting credit for all the stuff and I didn't need it. I was just satisfied knowing that the people were doing well, they were healthy in the office environment. The customer was happy by what was being produced by the team. And and I knew by way, by way indirectly that I was helping to influence that and making them effective. And so how's a scrum master job? That's, that's, that's how it's rewarding for me. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's that service aspect of it that just feels amazing. Um, I used to do a keynote back when we used to get together in large groups and, uh, I used to, part of it would be talking about how you've got to love your team. You got to want them to be wildly successful and you got to get everything out of their way. That's preventing that success. Mm -hmm. And, and it's a, and, and, you know, people are like, why would you use the word love or why do you want to be wildly successful and why are you committed to getting their stuff out of the way? It's because that's fulfilling. It's mm -hmm. service to others. It's helping and it, you're helping other people um, collectively on a team get something amazing done. The fact that you can ship anything today in a modern organization is awesome, mm -hmm. right? It's It truly is amazing uh, when you help someone realize that, you know, they're a proxy product owner but through you know, connecting them with the budget owner and working with leadership and management, you get them that first promotion into being that more business-centered person. That's amazing. Like you, you can go home happy that you've helped someone else advance in their career, that you've cha maybe changed a life, maybe helped a family. Um, it's just the, the, the effects, the, it's, you know what, Todd, what it is? Honestly, it's impact. You have an impact. And how many jobs in corporate America or in the world today would you say you could directly see the impact you're having on people? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think by way of it, too, um, by people thinking about the impacts that you can be having on the customer, right? Like going and working with uh, with teams and, and um, sometimes at the beginning of it, the customers feel disenfranchised. And you start using Scrum and the people are having a good time using it and delivering and the customer su suddenly is at the table feeling like as if they're really a part of it and feeling as though they're getting what they what they desire and they need. Right. Uh, that's that's also also part of it, too. So I, I, I think there's a lot of it. A lot of it of what we're talking about here is people. Right. Um, it is also satisfying to watch a team deliver. It's rewarding watching a team deliver and deliver with high quality um and uh and again delivering to a customer that 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 gets with the need so you know me. i think it it, re it relates to our our previous video too about why is the scrum master job so uncomfortable mm -hmm. you know to have an impact requires it impact is hard right impact is difficult to to achieve and that discomfort at at the end of that discomfort is impact mm -hmm. right when you when you work through that and you meet those challenges and you remove those organizational impediments and you have those hard conversations and you stand up for your team and you remove that person that's that's causing issues or whatever it is that's going on on the other side of that discomfort is impact right and so i think the two go hand in hand and i that's why it's so rewarding too because there are real challenges 
when you show up as a professional scrum master and when you hit, hit those head on and you and you work through them and pass them that's amazing isn't it it is yeah all right be sure to join us over at community.agileforhumans.com we talk about stuff like this all the time and it's free time mm -hmm. we do a lot of free don't we we do free 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 and we love it we want to see you there that's impact right that's rewarding for us all right. Be sure to like and subscribe. You know, by the time we get to Monday, Ted, I think this is going to be a reality. I think it is. I think that right now we're at 9,975, 25 to go. And 25 we've got 10, to go. 000. 25 of you hit that uh, like and subscribe. We're there. And then it's merch. Some videos are going to pop up. It's our two free courses. It's our Scrum Framework course and our EBM course. Todd Miller and Will Seeley got together and they did an awesome EBM class. Check it out. If you're doing any kind of Scrum or Kanban, EBM is for you. Uh, I'll tell you what, for Todd Miller, I'm Ryan Ripley. Go forward, have some great discussions about the impact you're having as a Scrum Master. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll be back next week with more episodes. Hopefully, past the 10,000 mark and some merch. We'll see. See you next week. See you.